So the ASEAN region is a very important region in terms of dynamics of population growth and energy consumption. And the region has a very significant potential for renewables in all its forms. The first low-hanging fruit, given the complex geography and the energy access issue, is of course off-grid solutions and distributed generation. I am thinking about solar, photovoltaics, but also other forms like by energy. But there is considerable potential also for large-scale utilities, like for instance, uh, we see in uh, for solar in Thailand right now. But um, as it was uh, discussed in this important roundtable today, the um, uh, regional targets of 23% of renewables on primary energy consumption are very ambitious and require an important, significant scaling up of investment. And for doing this, and, and, and compared to international standards, uh, the pace of change of renewables in the region is lower than in other parts of the world, and the costs are not decreasing so quickly as it happens in, in other parts of the world. So to unlock this potential, it is very important that policymakers foster changes in regulations and institution in order to foster transparent competition while maintaining long-term remuneration visibility in order to make projects more bankable. And the second point is to have a holistic approach looking at renewables in parallel with system integration, energy efficiency, and sector coupling, coupling the electricity, heat, and transport sectors from the onset. In this way, an enormous potential will be unlocked very soon.